Okay, so we're back. Tonight we're gonna start with Dexter's Laboratory. Watch me butcher spelling laboratory. Hopefully Dexter is enough. Okay, I think that's enough. Start from the bottom, go up to the top. I know you can't see, but there's a game called Robotic Birthday. Celebrate 10 years of Cartoon Network. 10th year anniversary of Cartoon Network. I'm assuming... Yeah, publisher of Cartoon Network. No memory of this game. This could be a Spanish game. There's a lot of Spanish games that were never released in English. Very interesting. That, that's like... Thing. Cartoon Network is celebrating his 10th birthday at the Cartoon Mansion. Dexter built a group of robots for repairing the best party ever. However, things went wrong and now the robots are out of control. Help Dexter to reach the mansion's central computers and bring the robots back to their, their house shores? Well, I can speak. The floppy disk? Oh my god, it's like, uh... It's like an RPG. I would assume not, but... Tank controls, that's interesting. <laughs> Taking a page out of Resident Evil. I mean, I know Resident Evil wasn't the only game with tank controls, but... You know. You know what I'm trying to say. Mini Mini. Mini Dexter. How's, how's it going, Bert? I have no memory of this game. Is this 10th anniversary? So... If they're talking about, like, the official Star Cartoon Network, which would have been... 1990? I feel like I should know this. And this came out in 2000? I'm not sure. But if we're talking about like the original Cartoon Network that had, that was basically just Hanna-Barbera cartoons. No, um, no OG shows. And that would have been like, 86 maybe I said that might be a little early Also this music is interesting Rats Oh the house is a mess try again. Nope. Ah, uh, this one isn't going to load. Ah, uh, damn. Well, there's no active link for it. I do remember this one very well, though. I remember eating scrambled eggs and playing this game as a, ch as a wee child. This one doesn't work either. Damn. Yeah, we came to the conclusion that the very old games, like, late 90s era, most of those don't work. Or at least they don't have active links. Ah, DD's Moon Squad, I remember that one. That one doesn't work either. <laughs> Clona, Clona Doodle Doo. Okay, this one works. That's okay, Burton. We were actually weren't doing this last, last night I started very late. And I only streamed for like an hour or so. And we played Celeste. We didn't continue this, so. I can't skip this. This is a very late Dexter's Lab game, I remember. This came out after Dexter's Lab had like pretty much ended.
At least I think so. I don't know the specific name for this game, but this type of game, there's like a hundred plus different games that is like this. You just have to capture the things without, like if they touch the rope while you're making it, they, you lose. You have to make a solid, ooh. You have to make a solid pin or what the hell was it? You have to try to make it as small as possible. You get more points if you do so. But then again, there's really no point in getting points. This isn't Neopets. I don't think you ever got... Uh, what was the currency called in Cartoon Network Orbit? I don't remember. But you never got that from playing games, which was a shame. I could be wrong though. Maybe you did get points. But you never did, which sucks. Because Neopets did that. And, I mean, it gives you a reason to really play these games and get good at them if you get points. Like, But you don't. So these scores are pretty arbitrary. Same thing with Neopets. I got really good at a lot of those games because... Well, for one, you get, you get like trophies if you're in the top placement every month. And you get to uh, have them on your profile. So it gives you an incentive to get really good at a game. Aside from like the bot problem. Because there was a lot of bots on Neopets that would bot games. And get very unfair scores that most humans can't get. and then we'll switch games. Like, this level, and then we'll switch. Oh no, the chickens! You get more points also if you get more than one chicken in a rectangle. Like, oh. See, look, you, get, you got a bonus there. Game over! I guess I ran out of time. Oh well. A screensaver? What? Warning, explosives in the lab. Probably should have... Oh, okay, I can read the instructions. For the tubes. A uh, whole bunch of words. Oh, whoops. What? Why can't I grab it? What? I couldn't move. Okay, let's give it another go. <laughs> Wait. Really, Burton? Damn, that... Uh, oh. Good to hear you're doing alright. That's... Dang, that kinda sucks. Throwing milk. I think that's milk. Damn it, Dee Dee.
I can't tell if the music is messed up. Now it's just repeating the same like couple notes over and over again. That's that game. That one doesn't work. The Oh My by Ghost. Uh. Damn, these games don't look. They're not. Uh. I'm gonna see what happens when I do this. It's probably gonna make me. Like, it's probably gonna show, maybe? But it's gonna say I need a Flash player to play it, so. This is just take me to cartoonnetwork.com. This is not what I had in mind. Yeah, that link. You can't see the link, but is this Cartoon Network LA? Play Robot Goal. But the link automatically switches to CartoonNetwork.com. So. Red Eye Flight. Uh. See. I definitely want to try to find the Cartoon Never Resort games. Because they weren't great, but I liked that they had characters from like every show that was popular at the time. Like the newest show on the list of uh, characters, I think, in those games was actually Edda and Eddie. <laughs> kind of crazy to think like that was the newest show. Courage, the Cowardly Dog was on there. I don't know, maybe that was the newer one. I don't know if Courage came out prior to Edda and Eddie. This goes on continuously. Ah! Oh well. Damn it. Lab on the run. I remember this game. I have to eliminate the robot bugs. Uh, what? Oh. Where you at, Dexter? Uh oh. Oh, I had to press start. Uh, where's Dexter? 
Oh, this is a tower defense game. I forgot. Oh no! I messed up. Can I restart real quick? How many of these I can make? Ugh. Hmm, well. Look, what's the cost? Ground only. I not can I not see where like the limit is this is a timer this is maybe it's the six maybe that's it oh god okay we're doing horrible <laughs> one okay let's restart real quick no wait I didn't mean to did this put me on difficult it's not matching up to my cursor seem to be way better weapons. Two on easy mode. Serious? Next Dexter game so far. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them were not able to play because uh, they're not on here. Like the links for them aren't present, and they have to be more or less. Uh, ran in like a sandbox environment kind of like the ones we're playing right now or else they won't play because modern like flash games don't work on modern pcs for the most part i am gonna see if there's another way we can play some of the games that we weren't it what why? Why aren't you attacking the bugs? You're not attacking the bugs! None of them were shooting! What the hell? Do only those work? No, they're not doing anything. Ugh! Damn it. See, when you get enough points to do anything, you don't have any lives left. I don't know, this is a pretty bad tower defense game. <laughs> This does right here. I 
think it's just a wall. Yep. Nothing. Okay, well, that's that. That was, uh, not great. Don't press the button. Oh my. Don't touch that button, you have no idea what it does. This button? This is the whole game. It only... <laughs> it only changes between like six different things. That's it. That's the whole game. Oh no, Robot Rumble doesn't work. Ah, uh, um, Shaisa. Dexter's Bubble Jungle also doesn't work. Ah, uh, damn. This is not... Okay, that wasn't an official card. I don't think. Yeah, it's not an official card. Now we're getting... Yeah, where's Dexter game so far? This one doesn't work either. Well, damn, we're zooming through Dexter's lab because none of these work. Nope. This one works. Um, wait a minute. Is this not a Cartoon Network game? It's not. This isn't even a Cartoon Network game. I don't know if this is fan-made or just for a different website. I would assume not. Like, I don't... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just clicked that and it opened up a link. This looks like a fan game. Oh, my God. This is a fan game. Well, let's play it anyways, I guess. He's cheating. Ugh. Oh, come on. Why isn't this working? See, my theory on the fact that, like, the really old games don't work is now not really holding into place because th this game and a bunch of oh never mind this works wait a minute did it just take a second to load in i'm gonna go back and look again at some of the games uh wait a minute why is there nothing showing there's nothing here A little worried what happens when I press delete direct. Oh, never mind. It's here. Ugh. I do not know why it's loading though. There's no reason for it to load. I'll let it load in the background. I'm going to go back and see if any of these... Like, if I wait a sec, does it show up? Or was I just imagining things and it was there the whole time? Ugh.
happens when I full screen it? Nothing. Okay, just making sure there wasn't some kind of additional thing that I was missing. Go back, see if no, still loading. Oh no! Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Source. Launch command. Asian power. Uh, nothing's here. Oh, it loaded. Oh, I immediately run into them. Uh, how do I... Oh, what, the balloons? Bang. Need more water. Dad's just washing us going, what the hell is my son doing? There's like a level of slight delay, I think, in my inputs. Like all games have been like this so far. It could be this, like the way that the games are implemented in the sense that these were originally Flash games and they're being run in an environment that isn't Flash, but allows them to be played. Does that make sense? More bullets. Well, I think we're just using water balloons. But it's weird, it's like, we're using water balloons, but they just freeze in place when we spray them. Also our dad standing here. I think I beat this game as a kid. I, I did all the levels. You don't have to be super accurate with like the spray. I wonder if the level automatically fails you if you, like, run out of water before you spray them all. You have no balloons left. I feel like I need to switch to red switches. Some cherry reds. I'm using browns right now. And they're... Well, for one, they're louder than red. I've never, like, used reds because I never owned them. Because I never owned a mechanical keyboard until the one I have now, actually. Well, aside from, like... Back on like my Windows 98 machine I had back in like the mid 2000s, but I had always had laptops, and laptops don't use mechanical keyboards. So 
but I've messed around with a keyboard that had reds and I didn't find it that big of a difference. Like I didn't find a difference in the sense that I know people say that if you're not used to red, you can mistype a lot because you don't need a lot of pressure with reds. Uh, I never really noticed that much of an issue. And again, when you're using, uh, you spend most of your life just using laptops, you're used to not having to use much pressure to type because they use uh, membrane keyboards and laptops. I couldn't imagine using blue. Blue's loud. I know people that like typing or type a lot really like blue. For one, if you're not used to it, your hand will cramp up and like instantly. Because you have to have a lot of pressure. Like the bigger and louder the switch is, it more or less requires more pressure to activate the... Uh, I don't know the can't remember the terminology but the amount of pressure you need for it to input the key is more and it also provides more sound blues are too loud it sounds like a damn typewriter and there's too much pressure i use browns my hands still cramp up pretty often i wouldn't make maybe the switch to reds but i don't I mean, I would have to spend like $20 on new key switches. I'm like, uh... Spent $20 on new switches. prefer red stew goes yeah I mean reds are better for like gaming because it's for one you don't have to be as forceful and you can lightly tap the input and if you're gonna be using was WASD you don't want to have to like constantly be applying too much pressure your type move around I mean some people are into it I mean some people game using blue switches which that doesn't sound like a fun time I say that and I don't even I don't play games with keyboards unless they're mandatory I always prefer controller over keyboard My hand, I don't know, it's just, it's too uncomfortable for me to use a keyboard for gaming. I don't like having to have my hands over wads constantly. And I don't like moving with the directional keys. Like, I know you also move with wads, but I don't like, it's just, it's not enough space, in my opinion. Like, I feel like you have to bend your fingers too much and it just, it hurts my hands. I know if you do it enough, your hands kind of get used to it, but yeah, I'm just not a fan. I think, I just feel like controller's better. More, more comfortable, I mean. Mouse and keyboard's better for like FPS's because you don't get the type of range of motion with a, with a controller that you do with a mouse. Alright, switch games. That game was good. Runaway robot. Oh, I remember this. We have to I think find our robot or something. Okay, maybe I don't remember this. I remember the glasses. We're supposed to be finding something. Are we looking for the robot? Is it on our mom's dump truck?
I mean, she got one though. Can't even. Can't even say no to that. No wonder Dad always has a smile on his face. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No. What am I doing? Oh. Too dark. Looks like you need night vision. Just turn the damn light on. What do you mean it's too dark? When I was DD. So I'm looking for the night vision goggles so we can go in our room. I don't know where they are. I'm looking. I've yet to find them. What if we click Dexter? No inventory. Okay, let's check the kitchen one more time, because if they're not in here, then I don't know. Oh, no? Okay. This just takes us back. Dad, do you have any glasses I can have? Cake. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't find them anywhere. Like I'm clicking everything. Nothing's happening. Check, I guess, Dee Dee's room one more time. Light is already on. Yeah, I know. Why can't we just turn the light on in our room? Oh, glasses. Night vision go glasses. Okay. Put them on. Uh. Light is now on. Why couldn't we just do that in the first place? Ah, uh, Geiger glasses. Or the Geiger, I mean. Oh. Oh my god. Is there anything here? Nothing? Oh, you got you can't see my mouse cursor, but I'm using my mouse to look around. Uh Oh the lever crunk. Apple. Apple. Heat <gasps> sensor. Oh, Microwave? Oh my god, seizure warning. Back to Dee Dee's room, I guess.
Well, that's enough of that game. Robo raid doesn't work. Ah, oh, no mix master. Come on, that sucks. I want to play some mix master. No bot brigade either. Shit. Damn it. Like half, more than half of the Dexter Lab games don't work. Uh, one sec. Guitar Puff Girls. Okay, a lot of these aren't Cartoon Network games. They're fan-made games by the looks of it. Does Gravity Z? What? Well, let me open them in a new tab, Ivor. That kind of sucks. Uh. Damn. There's like no link for most of these. Well, we found one. Our buff rain. Let's freeze and destroy them before the temperature reaches maximum something. Z. Hit it. Uh, okay, play, play. I'm guessing I need, oh, where are you? Blossom, where are you? Oh, Blossom's just not on here. Look, <laughs> she's not, she's not on the screen. Oh no. Move around. Uh. Yeah, blossoms nowhere to be seen. Uh, so I don't think this game works. <laughs> Doesn't work. Is this a Cartoon Network game? No, oh, wait, this is the same game. Maybe this one works? Play. Oh, she's on the screen at least. Why? Why doesn't she turn? Yeah, they don't move. They're supposed to move, right? 
Yeah, I'm moving my mouse. Nothing's happening. <laughs> So many of these aren't working. Um, that's not a Cartoon Network game. Neither is this. Oh, interesting that there's a Cartoon Network LA. You got transitions? Damn. Who performed the Powerpuff Girl song? Like, I'm assuming it's, like, just some studio band, but... Oh, is this the name of the... Apples and Stereo? Is that the name of the group? The end theme is by Biz. Shonen Knife. That's an interesting name. Alright, you ready for the movie? Here we go. Uh, press play to start the movie. Press play. Your name presents your title. I think the music's like stacked on top of each other. I think I messed it up or something like that. Wait, like, I didn't realize they were gonna. Like, it doesn't look like they stacked. Looks like you just had to pick one piece of music and that's it. That's a good, like, little gift there. A blossom. Yeah. Big shot video director. I sure am. Okay, next game. Oh, I forgot about the Bebos.
No, Fast and the Furious doesn't work. Uh, Zoom be gone. Boop, 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 boop. I'm clicking. Oh. Uh, I'm clicking. It ain't working. I don't know. Why is that? <laughs> What's going on? Why am I clicking the tickets? Are they tickets or what? Yeah, it's not... It's not working. <laughs> well then. I've seen absolutely nothing to do with the new Powerpuff Girls. I've heard not great things about it. Though, I do kind of want to check it out sometime. Just to see. I know it's very anime. Oh, we can't fight the Rowdy Rough Boys. Can't do that one. Go, girls, go! The bell's about to ring! Oh no, how's there so many butter, 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 buttercups? They do it again. They do it again. No, oh, can't do St. Castle Hassle. Townsville Zoo. Goodbye, child. Arctic Blossom. Uh, where am I putting these kids? Huh? Oh no, it's the kid that eats glue. Forgot about him. What do I, why do I keep, I can't put them down, can I? Oh, oh, okay, I see now. I see now. The screen shaking ain't great though. Very disorienting. Disorienting. Timer, because there's no, we don't have enough time. What? How are you supposed to do that? That's impossible. The game is a lie. Is there a way to do anything? No. There's no, like the time limit is, <laughs> like that's supposed to be the time limit. Why do the kids keep falling? I know it's bumping against the walrus, but...
Maybe if you get all of one color, the timer goes down. Possibly. Let's give it another go, I guess. The child. Wow. Where you go? Wow. I need just, just give me one color. Come on. I want to see if it goes down. No. Nope. Wow. Sorry, I have to pick the yellow shirt. It doesn't. This is impossible. This is the hardest game ever made. No, pipeline panic doesn't work. Oh, is this a modern? Oh, it is. This is a modern one. Uh, I see. Oh, uh. Oh, uh, you have to mash it? It sucks that you have to mash. You can't just... Hold down in the space bar. E. Invincibility. Okay, you charge up your laser, you do like a different move. Sound like a phone is ringing. You hear that? So, was there two versions of the new Powerpuff Girls? There's like this one, and then there's another one that looks like super freaking anime. Again, I've seen neither of them, so. Is this not Ice Breath? Okay, that's not Ice Breath. Never is that. Oh. Probably helps if I use the right power book girl. <laughs> is that Ice Breath? I'm not sure. It said Blossom, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks that you can't just hold down the space bar, you have to freaking mash it. Which I guess makes sense, because you have to hold it down to charge your moves. Oh, uh, I think Bubbles is a bit better for standard enemies here. Uh, I want to get pal. Oh, no, we didn't get pal. The puppies are still robots. Rip. Ah, uh, monster's attack doesn't work.
so far about I would say 75% of these Powerpuff Girls don't work. Games, I mean. Powerpuff yourself. I want to Powerpuff myself. You make the call. What? Is it illegal to score a goal from a throw in? Yes? I don't know. That sounds like it's illegal. <clears throat> Damn it. So many of these games just don't work. It's a shame, honestly. Ugh. We found one. Oh, uh, what? Are you supposed to melt them? Is that? Uh, switch. Oh, get the candy. Oh, we can move? Ah! Bubbles? Oh, no. Too many things going on at once. I can't handle this. Uh, what did- Okay, I guess we switch levels. And you can't, like, when you do the I-beam thing, you're kind of stuck not being able to move until it's over. I don't know if I need the candy or what! Ugh! Uh, Jojo has done it, and the ski villa is covered with snow. Now the people have to wait for the snow to melt to go out and have fun! Oh no, I'm so sorry. No. Doesn't work. What about madness? Oh, holy shit. Well, this is a very big game screen. Is this a modern game? No? Okay, it's gonna look pretty odd because of the position. Oh, wait a minute, is this not a Cartoon Network game? I don't think it is. It says developer Cartoon Network, but I don't see that this was in any way ever on Cartoon Network website, I mean. It looks kind of fan-made-ish, honestly. Is there supposed to be text here? Yeah, there's supposed to be text, but I don't see it. Oh, this is definitely a fan-made game by the looks of it. Oh my gosh, this is laggy as hell. Oh my god, it's so laggy. Yeah, we did it. I don't know what any of this says, because there's no text. I'm assuming... It just says something? Question mark? Oh god. They're like animations. When they get knocked out. They're, they're strange. Buttercup, what's going- Why does your hair look so big? Holy shit.
Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Those pop up girls, Robot Madness, which I do not believe is a actual legitimate Cartoon Network website game. Could be wrong though. It's huge on the screen. This isn't Cartoon Network, but I mean, this is publisher Cartoon Network, so I don't know. Maybe this one is. It, yeah, it's the Cartoon Network right there. Power Surf. And this does look slightly familiar. I think I remember this game. Maybe? Ah, uh, they can fly. I mean, <laughs> I feel like you can do some major cheating being able to fly while you surf. Ugh. Calabunga. Oh, Mojo Jojo shredding. If you want to be a power surfer, you'll have to keep trying. Bubbles can even swim, can't she? flying you completed this level there are three more beaches to surf to this will go at it till we lose get hit okay oh I think that's enough of that our skaters doesn't load wow so many of these just don't work no not hair not hot air buffoon Damn shame. No. Oh, do, do, do. Uh, free mojo. Got my mojo. Wait, were they like supposed to be hippies? <laughs> they are. One of these games load. Like this. Isn't this like what they look like now? It says Cartoon Network, so... Harp Up Girl Z? Is that really what it's called? <laughs> Super capricious. I guess we'll play one of them at least. I think this is like what they actually look like. So there's two versions of the Powerpuff Girls aside from the original. Oh. 
Look on bubbles and in the oven. Chicken? Oh, oops. I I pressed it. What? Keep saying this wrong. Bubbles. Oven. Cheese. Cheese. I don't understand. Let me... Uh, let me do something else. Skip. Bubbles. Oven. Oh, she wants to exercise. Bicycle. You... Video games? No, that's not video games. What do you want? Okay, you want TV. I don't know where the video games are. I don't see them. Okay, those aren't video games. Never mind. Makes sense. Like, why would Blossom ever play video games? Sports? You like sports? I don't know what you want. Eh. I'm pressing the TV. Nothing's happening. Yes. TV. I don't know what you want. You don't want that. I'm... I'm at a loss. Okay. TV. I'm pressing you, I'm pressing TV. I don't know what you want to watch. You're not telling me. Buttercup, you gotta tell me. I don't think you want to watch the clothing channel, do you? Am I wrong? Okay. Okay, sports. You want to watch sports? Ah, uh, hurry up. Time's running out. Ah! Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Ah! We did it. Oh, barely. Qualification. What? What does that mean? I don't know what this means. Capricious? What the hell does capricious mean? I know it's a word, but I've never heard of it. Like, I have heard of it, but I don't know what it means. Oh my god, they all want dog food. Y'all hungry for some dog food. Here, eat. No? I'm pressing this. Consume. Okay, screw this game. Uh, oh, they don't work. Morning mix up. Also doesn't work. It's a shame. So many of these just straight up don't work. Just like this. Doesn't work. Can we at least find out how evil we are? We can't. Great. Uh, another one of these, which I, is this like an official Cartoon Network game? This Cartoon Network, also no text again. Oh, oh, okay. Revive him. Z up spacebar.
Uh. What are we... What are we inside? We're inside like a ship? But we can fly. I don't... I don't get it. We're able to fly, so... Uh, there's like a... Smash? Oh. Well. I'm assuming we're in, like, a device that's keeping us from flying. At least I would assume or hope that's the reason why we can't fly. There's some type of, like, official kryptonite for the Powerpuff Girls, isn't there? I can't remember what it is, but I think it's been kind of a thing. At least in the original series. Oh! Well, damn, you put me right next to the spikes. I wanted to see what him looks like. In this new art style. We haven't game over yet. At least I don't think. Wait, yeah, we have. But you don't have to restart the whole game? That's nice, I guess. Oh, let me burp. Okay, I've had enough of this game. I do want to see if it's any different when you use on the Evergirls. Oh, there's him. What? That's supposed to be him? Oh, space bars break? Huh? Oh, it has to be a... Okay. It has to be like the... Thingamajig. The one that looks like it can be broken. Which I guess I never did last time. Is there a point for the candies? Oh no! Uh. Oh no! So, these ones you can break? No, you can't break those. Break this, right? I want to see how you do it. Ah, damn it, got stuck. Okay, this. Ah, okay, you can break, you can break those. Okay, next game. Coloring. Well, sadly, like eighty percent of these games don't work. For Powerpuff Girls, at least. I'll potentially try to find them elsewhere. But, yeah. Let's see, next. Let's see if we can find the Boba Bo game. No. K. 
Can next door Teen Titans Lucha Lucha Ed and Eddie. I do want to see if we can find any potential Yu-Gi-Oh games that run Cartoon Network. Cause WB Mighty Kids Mill Kaiba. Oh. Wait, is it a game? It's a shockwave game. We're gonna check those out, definitely. Nickelodeon. This is Nickelodeon Konami picture puzzle. Why was this on Nick? That's interesting. I mean, it's that's a puzzle, but very interesting that it was on Nick. Actually, there's another one. Oh wait, is this the same thing? Oh, it's for Zexel. Huh. Learn to play Flash tutorial. <laughs> by Upper Deck. Oh, okay, it's not the full thing. It says, only the beginning section before the first turn starts was saved by the Wayback Machine. I see. Neopets. Online Beginner's Guide. Let's check out the Mighty Kids meal. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's no link. Was it a game? I don't remember this at all. Huh. Well. Can't play it, whatever it is. Okay, well, I guess there wasn't anything. There was stuff on Nickelodeon, but... Not Cartoon Network. Mucha Lucha. It's a Kiss WB. Yeah, some of these are going to be Kiss WB because that's where Mucha Lucha was originally. Uno, dos, get in there. On, uh. Zoom. The flea. Remember the flea? Uh, was his name Mucha? And then the girl. I remember Snow Pea. I think that was her name. The flea's little sister. Oh, oh, we did it. You need to weigh six hundred pounds. Oh my gosh. Hello, Amaryllis. How's it going? We're eating donuts. Yep. I never thought Musha Lucha was like a popular enough show to go from Kids WB to Cartoon Network. Like, Yu Gi Oh! That made perfect sense. Why it switched to Cartoon Network. It was a very. I think it was the most popular show on Kids WB. But. I don't think Musha Lucha was like extremely popular. I don't know. I mean, it definitely didn't last long, even once it was on Cartoon Network. Chilling and doing some Sims. I see. Yeah, we just got done doing Powerpuff Girls, and sadly, 90% of those games just straight up don't work. Or at least the links for them don't work, which is kind of a shame. Oh, wait, that was the whole game? We're already done. Well, this is a Kids WB game. This isn't a Cartoon Network game. Those games are always, like, ridiculously short from what I remember. There's a Neopets Mushalusha game. But it still says Kids WB. Oh, it's probably a tie-in, you know. Oh yeah, that was definitely a Neopets loading screen for the games. 
Oh, it says Neopets right on the bottom. 2003. Well, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by, Amaryllis. This having a uh, having a time. Oh, I remember this game. I think. I mean, I was definitely playing Neopets in 2003. So, I guess it would make sense that I at some point probably played this game. How do I... Do I not attack him? Uh... Am I a buffoon? I don't remember... Why is there a distance gauge? Look at that chair. There is a chair. Am I just supposed to run around? Until the distance gauge fills up? I'm not sure. Uh... Bonk. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, we got moves. Yeah, kicking her coach right in the uh, cojones. Cojona burger. Uh, now what? Oh. A donut. Do lucha, do luchadoras traditionally like eat donuts? Is that like a thing? I remember in Mucha Lucha they ate a whole lot of donuts. All the time. Also, I don't have this set up properly, but I'm going to do it anyways. Well, I think Ghost, I believe, is... I think Ghost is following you already, because he... I feel like I read it in do one of your streams once. Could be wrong. If I haven't, then I definitely need to one these days, because you've done so for me. Well, I do stream really late, so I feel like maybe the timing might not make it super possible. <laughs> uh, You can send a challenge card to your friends. I'm going to send this to all of my friends. I'm going to challenge them. Can you beat my score of 65? Visit Kids WB website. Watch Mucha Lucha on Kids WB before it moved to Cartoon Network. Yes, I need to remember to eventually set up the shout out thingy. Yeah, 65. <laughs> Big 65. Um, it's a shame all of these games work, but very few of the Powerpuff Girls games work. So there's two versions of Powerpuff Girls that came out post the original. I knew there was one of them, and it was, uh, I can't describe the art style, but it was, I liked it. Visually, it looked nice. I've never watched any of it. And then there was the very anime kind that apparently is the one that's out now. And that, I don't know how I feel about that. Again, I haven't watched any of it. However, they showed him. Him, the big red fella from hell. Him. And they completely changed his design. It's a little, 
I don't know how I feel about it. Oh wait, his name was Ricochet. Wait, was his was his name really Ricochet? That's kind of nuts because there's a wrestler in WWE now named Ricochet, and he's one of the most acrobatic wrestlers. I mean, in WWE history, outside of like Rey Mysterio and Sid Cara, like non. Well, Ricochet is a non luchador. Eh? But it's just crazy that his name is Ricochet and the main character. I wonder. I wonder if you grew up watching Lucha Lucha. I don't know how old he is. Maybe the timeline doesn't add up, but <laughs> it's making me wonder if his name was a reference to Mucha Lucha. <laughs> or maybe his name is just Ricochet because he's very, very bouncy across the square circle. The square circle is the name for the WWE ring. This is a square within a circle. Well, remember Musha Lucha? Understandable. It got its start in Kiz WB. It was one of the Kiz WB shows that, um, well, started on Kiz WB and then transitioned over to Cartoon Network later on. Same applies to Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And Musha Lucha was already not like a... I want to consider it a very popular show on Kids WB. So the fact that it went from Kids WB to Cartoon Network was a little odd. I felt like Cartoon Network only picked up like the most popular shows in Kids WB. They kind of like bought out the rights to them. Yeah, the Mucha Lucha. Yeah, it's just, it's, well, it's roughly, it's a Lucha Libre type of, oh, this game doesn't load. So it's Ricochet, you can't see my mouse, but Ricochet's in the middle, Flea's on the right, he had a little sister named Snow Pea, that her persona was like, she was like literally a pea. Mucha, Mucha. I think your name was Snowpea? Yeah, Snowpea. Right here. This is the Flea's sister, and every character had a uh, Lucha Libre gimmick. Like, not a single character didn't have a. Um. Are they called outfits? Because there's the mask that they typically wear, but a lot of these characters had outfits in the show. And they don't usually wear full outfits in Lucha Libre. Um... See what else is there? The tooth of the matter. What's the tooth? Oh, didn't Flea have like a really bad cavity? Because Flea canonically never bathes. Oh, I forgot about the dog. The dog is great. I'm the dog. Rico shit house. Click around the room to find all the items that you'll need. Uh, click on this button to play a different character. I see. Find the map to get to town and find Ricochet. Okay, can you, you can let me click? Please. Switch. Oh, we can be the dog. Okay, I'm happy. We can be the dog. Look at that. Freaking Apple PC down there. The old fish tank. Uh, oh. 
you got the cupboard key. Why is there like, is this, why does it look like a briefcase with hair on it? I also forgot how obsessed Ricochet was with this El Rey character. Uh, to the kitchen? Hmm. Covered. We have this. Oh, it's our briefcase. It has hair on it. We have a hairy briefcase. Uh, key. Use the key on the... No. Key. Do I have to drag it? Oh, okay, you have to drag it. We on a map. Uh, can I leave? Can we go to school? A wrestling school. You go to school to learn wrestling. We have all nations. France. Uh, United States. China. Uh, I can't really tell what those are in the back, but. Seesaw. A baseball. It's too high. Can the dog, can the dog ascend? You can do a dog. Jump. No. Oh, place dog on one side. Flea, you go here. No. You go here. Oh no, what's what's happening? Did I, okay, I didn't aim. Oh boy, you have to reset if you mess up. We did it. Oh my god, it actually worked! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. You got the ball. Hmm. Now what? Go inside the school. The school is locked. It's the weekend. Play. You cannot just go into the school. This is not Japan. You cannot freely roam the school premises on the weekend. How do I back out? Let me out of here. Oh. The Slam Donut. Slammin' Donuts. Is it called the Slam Donut? I think it's called the Slam Donut. I remember the backgrounds were very, very kind of simple. Like this. Same goes with Edda and Eddie. However, it was very much aesthetic. It was intentional. And it worked. It is one dollar, my son. Oh, this is Flea's father. One dollar. I'm quite sure this show canonically took place in Mexico. I could have been. I could be wrong. Okay, maybe it's not Mexico. However, all the characters were very predominant, predominantly. I can speak of Hispanic descent, possibly Southern California. There is a ghost inside. The flea must do something fast. Flea, take the baseball, throw it out the window. That didn't work. Fast. Baseball. Window. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. You, oh, the flea could use this tree as a catapult. Flea looks really strange here. There's a ghost inside the dentist. I'm actually kind of invested in this game, so go to the back alleys. A lever. Can we send dog over? There's spikes on top of the fence. That might not be a good idea. Oh, the hole in the fence. You did it, dog. I can't remember your name, but you did it. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Flea, do you have any smart ideas? Yes. Uh. Hmm. 
Dog, what do we do? You can't reach it, so... It's the boxes, but I don't think the dog can move the boxes. Also, it's called, this game is called The Tooth of the Matter. So far, um, is there any teeth involved, aside from there being a ghost at the dentist? The bus stop. Hello. Uh, I'm hungry. I'd like to have a donut rather than my special plant growth water. What? Can I have your plant growth water, please? No, we need a donut. We need a dollar for the donut, but... We don't have a dollar. Dog, can you steal it? No. Uh. Dog can't reach it. Back to the house, I guess? Let me go back in here. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> we rummaging. Oh, okay. Maybe this does take place in Mexico. That was a one dollar coin. Well, this is Sacagawea. I don't think. We using that here. Unless this is Canada, that would be a twist. That would be a major twist if this game took place in Canada. Or this show took place in Canada. <laughs> uh so let's go get some donuts. Hello father. I know you're trying to teach us responsibility by making us pay for our donuts, but we are trying to Get rid of a ghost. We got a donut. Okay. I think we're gonna cruise now. We cruising now. We flying. Bus stop. Here. Donut. Elderly. Here's a donut. Give me your stank water. Thank you, young boy. Now this special water is yours. Uh, What do I do with the water? That's... I'm not sure. I don't feel like... Uh, what if we use the water on the tree? Nope. <laughs> hmm. Open the door. Switch to the dog. Anything. Do you see anything, dog? No. What about the parking lot? Nothing in the parking lot. The back street's back, alright. Hmm. Yes. What if we use the water on the fence? Okay, yeah. <laughs> That. I know it doesn't make any sense in my head, either, but, hey, who knows. Oh my god, you have to throw the ball? But, what was I aiming for? I'm not aiming for the truck. What am I aiming for? Oh, the boxes. Well, okay. Turn to dog. Dog, you can do it. No. Dog, get on the boxes. Good. Now pull. Oh, okay. You have hands. Oh my god, is that Doug Demodome? Owner of the Dimsdale Demodome. It kind of looks like it. Okay, it's not. The fool, you must help Ricochet. My Nino. You'll need... Oh, they're hidden at the school. Snow Pea, a student has them. Snow Pea's our sister. 
You're just saying a student. Okay. Oh, was that the principal of the school? I don't remember. It could have been just some homeless guy who apparently has the key to the school. So, school. Use the school key on the door. But wait a minute. Why is Snow Pea at the school if it's closed? Not closed, if it's not open. Because it's the weekend. At least I think. Uh, see anything, dog? No. Goes outside. Classroom. Desk. Oh, it's inside Snowpea's desk. All right. Oh no, her mask. Code. Snowpea's uh, locker code. We get a pencil. No? No pencils. Dog, do you want a pencil? You don't want a pencil. Okay. Uh, oops. Well. Locker. Dog. Cannot open the locker. We have the code. Uh. No P's mask. Or locker. There's lockers right here, but nothing's happening. Our Harry briefcase is... Yeah. Alright, let's go back to the strange man in the alleyway. Maybe... Maybe that will work. Oh, no? Did we not interact with him anymore? You want a locker code? What if we turn it into a dog? Mm, nothing. Okay, let's go back to the donut shop. Maybe our sister is there. Hello. You padre. Nothing. Bus stop. See anything, dog? Ricochet's house. Um, is there more to this map? Mm. Bus stop. The dentist. Mask? I'm missing certain elements. Yes. Snoopy at the dentist. No. Okay, I'm starting to think we're not done at the school, but nothing... Nothing's happening here. It would be a shame if we got this far and couldn't proceed. I'm kind of feeling like that might be the case. Dog. Where's her locker? I don't know what we use the growth water for. Okay, I'm... I'm thinking we're missing like an area, but I don't know where it is. So this might be the end of the game. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Huh. Back streets. We can't interact with this guy again by the looks of it. No. 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 There's no continuing in the school. Clicking everywhere. Clicking as much as I can. Well, I think that's the end. Either the game is like bugged or something like that. Congrats for the stream. I'm going to knock out. Well, thank you for coming by, Omaros. I really appreciate it. By the looks of it, this game is done because I have clicked every single possible thing. Nothing is happening. Yes. I will see you around, Amaryllis. Have a good, good sleep. Um, I doubt there's a guide on the internet. That would be pretty nuts if there was. I don't think I'm even going to bother trying to find one. I think we might have, like, sequence broke something, so, yeah. That sucks. Lucha Caliente. Doesn't work. Buena. Girl says. Oh no, this Simon says. It is. It's all buena. It's all buena. It's all buena. It's all buena. She talking. It's all bueno. It's all bueno. It's all bueno. Okay, so that's all she's saying is this is all bueno. You can say no. Oh, what she say when she's mad? It's not bueno. Wait, what'd she say? I'm trying to hear it. I'm not listening for my desktop, I'm listening for this, my phone. You can say no! She says a ricochet no. You can say no. Oh, give me that game over. You can say no. Nice move, oh no, our idol. Oh, what? <laughs> Can't really tell what he just said. Well, 
next game. Well, I guess we're done with Mucha Lucha. So let me get the list up. I don't think there's any really any Naruto. There might be like one or I think there's one, two maybe, but whether or not they're on here, I don't know. So for now that's I think I'm gonna go deep diving in some games that we weren't able to play tonight. Tomorrow, and if I can find any, I'll stream them. But for now, let's just continue with us because we have Teen Titans get next door and Edda and Eddie. I think I want to end with Edda and Eddie. I don't know. Candy and then kids next door after probably labeled it's gonna be yes labeled differently trial by fire left right space A very small screen Oh, this is just that one Dexter's Lab game. <laughs> it's literally the... I can't remember the name of it. We were shooting the eyeballs. It's exactly the same. There's no difference. Except it has number five and... Like cheese balls flying at us. She even does like the same animation. Wow, that's lazy. It's just the same game. The same assets. The damage bars the same. I think even like the weapon animations the same. Like not the weapon itself, but the the green snot coming out. Yeah. That's interesting. They literally, I mean, they literally just repurposed a game. Yep, that's it. This game is on fire! Game over. Oh no, we can't dunk! No! Damn it, no slam dunking. Ugh. Operation Teenager. Doesn't work. We can make our own number. A number operatives. Operatives is this? I remember this. Print it out. Show it to your friends. Is there a number for his eyes? Why is, why is it looking like a directional pad? Glasses. There's a triangle. Their nose. Blown bubbles. Very happy. The tongue. Check out the dew. Oh. 
I mean, that's pretty good. Let's give him the lime green. Or we got the attitude era. Right before people done lost their minds and never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Double hoop. Accessories. Oh, they did that. Cuba suit. Oh, our business attire. Okay, let's get fancy with it. We're in all white. Yes, to print it out. We're making our own number. Print it out when we can show it to all of our friends at school. And they'll all be like, wow, you're so freaking cool. As I say, very sarcastically. At least I'm going to assume that they give you an option to print this out at the end. We got a match. We style him. Look at our weapon. That was a swordfish, right? Gumball machine. Oh, we got Wolverine. A chicken. Well, that has a different connotation nowadays. Swordfish. Well, stick with the hands. Also, hello, Neon. <laughs> We had a pretty bad streak. Powerpuff Girls, 90% of those games just didn't work. I would say about half of the Dexter's Lab games didn't work, and... Yeah. Oh, that's... Well, that's cute, Neon. No, I'm talking about... Well, I mean, there's a difference between showing people a picture of your cats and showing a people people your, uh, your number operative that you created on CartoonNetwork.com. <laughs> yeah, I, like, printed it out on the printer paper. Not, not even printer paper, probably just, like, standard... White paper. The kind that when you print color on, it's literally like a wet waffle till it dries. Okay, we have to stick with the... To stick with that. Okay, I think we're good with green. We are very ill. Go with the ill green. Generate. Look, this is our official number. Number 621,641. I wonder. I wonder if we go back and do it again. Will it say 642? I'm going to do that real quick. If that's the case, and I don't know. I don't feel like 621,000 people made a generate a number prior to it being removed from the Cartoon Network website. I do not believe that one bit. Special talents and international espionage. Hobbies, zoology. Equipment, boogs. Back off or get slapped. That sounds like a good bumper sticker. So what, we were going to say if it said 641, no, 642 is going to, okay. Check it out. Okay. I saw the 62, but it's different. I want to see what the names of these, to these items are. The Wafu. Watch out for flying utensils. Ha! Yeah, there's no way 620,000 of these were made. The pokers. 
pointy and kind of even really scratchy. This face is getting to me. Uh, yeah, really thought so. The splurrs, soaking people like unbelievable rainstorms. Is this going to be called Gumball? Glum. Gum-loaded universal multi-bomb. Is this a wooden sword? Is he going to say wood? What? A wat? A wat-hab? Wop on the head and belly bopper. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Also, I wonder if we change our feet. Is it going to change our hobby? If so, there's a weird, uh, it's weird that they're focusing on the feet. Yep, it changes the hobby. The Gomet. Gravity-assisted multi-phase military thingy. The Swordfish. Um, okay, this is interesting. What is the Rabbit Slippers going to say? Hobby, sleeping! Equipment, fish, finger-initiated stinky halibut. Um, okay, I done. The Ruma, really outrageous one-man army. And, yeah, that's everything. I think. Do we do the chicken? Oh. The Fosse. Sleeping is a hobby. Uh. Well. I don't know. Depends on who you ask. Far out super scrambled egg yolker. The Fosse. I want to see what these shoes mean. Surfing. Okay. Well, you don't wear shoes while you surf, but all right. These are just standard looking shoes. Maybe they're basketball? Tennis. Well, okay, tennis shoes. <laughs> Maybe these are basketball shoes. They're slightly different looking. Karate? What? But you don't... You don't wear shoes doing karate. I don't understand that. What are these? Why do they look like bones? Is the hobby going to be bones? Chicken racing? Wait a minute. What is happening? It's getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> chicken racing. Do you race against chickens or you just have chickens that you race? I know ghosts. Hiking. Uh, okay. And this is just rollerblading and snowboarding. Apparently having the feet of a Bear slash wolf means you're into zoology. Okay. Well, that's that. Also, I didn't realize that there's two... I know that there's a new version... Well, it's technically no longer the new version of Powerpuff Girls, but apparently there's a version after the new version of Powerpuff Girls, and it looks anime as hell. And I honestly kind of want to watch an episode of it just to see what it looks like. Because Mojo Jojo's in it. He looks very different. It's like the version that came out after the original. I kind of like the art style. I never watched any of it. But all the characters more or less look the same. Aside from the girls. It was, they looked a little older, but not by much. 
The anime version, though, they look completely different. Also, they showed him, the red devil guy. And they completely rechanged his character visually. So, at some point, I want to watch an episode of both. It's literally called Powerpuff Girls Z. I'm not even lying. Powerpuff Girls Z. Like, Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> really? I mean... I feel like they're a little late to the game calling it that. Because it's... Like, the current Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball Super. It's not called Dragon Ball Z Super. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, first of all... Hasn't... Like... It quit its English air date in, like, 06... You're a little late to the game there. <laughs> Tummy trouble. Oh my god, this game actually works. Maybe the Kids Next Door games are all going to work. Maybe we're... We came on to a winner here. Unlike the Powerpuff Girls games, where all, literally none of them worked. Aside from maybe, like, two or three. Oh no, a lot of buttons. Oh my god, you can just hold down on the left. Hold down on the left, click. You don't have to smash it. Good. Our gastrometer, oh no. What's happening? Oh, we're stuck. Did you ever watch the episode of Kids Next Door where they had to get the Brussels sprout out of number four's stomach? That's probably my favorite episode. That in the semi pulp fiction reference one, where each of them had their. They were trying to save this briefcase, sort of. And. Throughout the episode, they would all pass, like, the briefcase onto each other, sort of. But. Every time it swapped to one of the new. Like, when it swapped from, like, number five to number four and number three, it'd be a different art style. For a different reference that episode was freaking amazing especially when it went to number four it was straight up the frieza saga from dragon ball z like it wasn't even trying to hide it it was straight up the number four went super saiyan in it are these bad pies is this why he's so against the pies it's interesting, the, the gastro meter is still getting to me. If you're having gastrointestinal problems as a child, I would say it's either one, Crohn's disease, or two, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of a situation that I have nothing, no idea about. <laughs> Hey, not saying I don't have it. I have horrible gastro problems. Oh my god, pies everywhere. Oh, you think you slick? You can hide from me, you wiener. They look like wieners. Get them Brussels sprouts away from me. Oh my god, is this like a Metroidvania? Look at the map. You can see it the in the green square. The straight up Metroidvania. Oh wait, they respawn? Oh, they just respawn! What's the point? Okay, I guess there's no point in defeating all these... ...foods. Our meter is not being filled up, so it's making me think that we're in good standing right now. Number one is not about to shit his pants by the looks of it. Who knows, that could change in a moment.
Can we defeat the toaster? No. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, never mind. That was just, that was ham. Succulent ham. Okay, so it's not just you have to actually find a way to get up. Life has many doors, Ed Boy. They did a lot of drugs in the process of writing a lot of the Ed and Eddie episodes. I think that's been canonically proven. Ed and Eddie is, I'm not sure if I've made this clear, is my favorite Cartoon Network show. What would be a close second? Uh... Wait, we don't have a key? Yeah, we need a key or something. I think it would be a close second. Maybe Kids Next Door? Kids Next Door was super lit. And they would do like full episodes just like kind of focusing on one character and it wasn't like it didn't feel bad and it didn't feel like they were just trying to hide not hide but they were putting off the main story in any way but they felt generally good when they would do like a single character focus I would probably say yeah I'd probably say kids next door or Billy and Mandy. Oh, there it is. Ah, get it. Let me out. Oh no. It's the lunch lady. You can get back here, bitch. Okay, it's just more food. Well, let's get swamped and see what happens when we have to shit, so. Uh oh. Is it, are they stuck? I see. You're just gonna spawn indefinitely by the looks of it. Okay. Let's see what happens when I move down. Oh! Okay, it's really lagging. <laughs> Ideal's meal. Number one's last stand. They're. F I what the hell is going on here? They're eyeballs and like ice, but there's feet? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, get us pie, get us Brussels sprouts. Gotta be canonical here. Brussels sprouts have to end us. You, you're stuffed. Oh boy, the connotation of that. Really? We only lost one life? Holy shit. I feel like this game might be Pretty damn easy. You can take that many hits without losing a life. A teenager. Doesn't work. Rainbow monkey. Oh, yeah. Rainbow monkey, rainbow monkey. So, very round and extra chunky. Is that how it goes? Are we hauling? We hauling oats.
We got monkeys. Rainbow monkey, rainbow monkey. We got a jumbo yo yo. Most of these shows, I'm like, yeah, I remember them just fine. But specifically, I think some kids next door, I'm like, damn, I really want to watch some of this again. It's just weird because it's like I feel like it hasn't been that long since I watched it. it I mean, it has, but. Some of the old Powerpuff Girls as well. That I've seen more recently, because I watched a good amount of the original Powerpuff Girls with my sister some years back. But, Kids Next Door, I don't think I've watched it since, like, I think literally the like the only times I've watched Kids Next Door is if, if it was on TV. And they don't, well I know there's the Toonami channel, but I don't have television, so. <laughs> If I had television, I would have Toonami, not Toonami, a Boomerang, because, well, current Boomerang apparently plays, like, 2000s era, Cartoon Network, back when, in 2000, they played old Hanna-Barbera shows, which were, of course, they were never Cartoon Network originals, they were just the old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Oh god, this is kind of hurting my eyes. While the monkey's going in the background. But, yeah. In Edda and Eddie, I know, I don't know, I've watched so many of the episodes mo so many times that, and the fact that, you know, they're short. Especially Edda and Eddie. I feel like the episodes are considerably shorter than most. Oops, oh, frick than most of the shows on Cartoon Network. Like, they popped out, like, at 11 minutes. Unless there were a full episode, which they didn't do too often. There's, all, there's only a couple, like, full episode uh, Edda and Eddie's. There was a few in the last season, and there was only, like, I think two prior to that. The one with the giant heart that they made, and they tried to f had to figure out who shoved the hockey stick for the heart. Uh, spoiler alert, it was... Jimmy? I mean, that's the first instance of Jimmy Loki being in, like, an actual prick. Because a lot of his, like, oh, I'm such a little wuss type of thing is kind of a act. Because he's done it more than once. He's not as kind of not as soy boyish as he puts on. A lot of it is also just to get what he wants with Sarah. So I don't know. I could be. I'm more likely overthinking a lot of this, but no, they de I mean, they definitely did on more than one occasion, but... The heart thing was a big-ass scheme. I can't remember the... Oh, it's because they pantsed him. Not pantsed him, they... Give him a... I think they wedgied him or something. Oh, no. What kind of deviant art is this? Well, tell you at some point, sometime, someone saw this and went, yeah, I'm into that. Protect and swerve! Oh, I love protect and swerve, but it doesn't work. Oh, this game was so cool. 
He's like your standard shmup type of thing. But you could control all five characters and they all had different like attacks and moves. This game was effing awesome. But sadly it's not there's no link. And like the source right here, that's not the link. That just tells you what the original like Euro was for. So that's a shame. Operation number wait a minute, we played this one, I think. Yeah, we played this one. Which is making me think why the hell did we play this one? Yeah, because I remember Bert, Bert was talking when I was playing it, and... Yeah, I have no idea why I played this. Because it wasn't in order. Maybe I was just testing to see if it worked? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Speaking of testing to see if it works, the screen is just black. Uh, hmm. Well then, so the game that I remember playing on here during one of these streams, well, this is only the second stream, not working. Okay. I definitely remember playing this because you zap the kids because they're old for some reason. Oh, God. Tommy. Uh, I hate... Tommy is, like, my least favorite character. He was next door. He was so annoying. He was, like, the scrappy do. Candy. Oh, this is just... I don't know. There's been a hundred games that is like this. You just have to land. Oh, yeah. Doesn't Tommy canonically, like, live on the moon now? I say... Like now, and, you know, back when, back when the show was on, they sent him because there's like a moon base, I believe. The kids live on the moon. I don't think our descent speed matters. We just said, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Instantly proven wrong. Number two have like a big crush on number five sister. Oh, and I just remember number one's girlfriend. Like, I think he was semi, like, they were both into it, even though, yeah, number one acted like he wasn't into her, but he was low-key. Uh, I'm not even going to say it, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, and then she got some type of machine or something that mind controlled number one into really liking her, even though he kind of already did. And he, like, had him want to marry her or something. They actually had, like, a wedding. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. There's definitely some strange episodes in uh, it's Next Door. All oh, couple. There's a couple of real dumb ones. One of the ones I can think of that's real dumb was the musical one. Like, where the fuck did that come from?
in like it was a reference to West Side Story, I believe. But what fucking ten year old child I'm just rough estimating the age he would have been probably watching it. Has any idea what West Side Story is? Or maybe they were hoping that you didn't know? I don't know. It was just really dumb. Maybe it was in response to like high school musical? That I feel like that's a stretch. Because even though High School Musical was like the biggest thing in the world for a couple months. I don't think a lot of things try to copy it. Because yeah, you know, usually if something's real popular, you have copycats. But I don't feel like there really was any. You know, like, yeah, Glee definitely wasn't a copycat. Glee's, Glee was its own thing. And that came out, I don't know when that came out, like 08 or something. I never watched a single episode of Glee. I have no interest in that. I know people that do like it. I was friends with someone who was like obsessed with it. I want to say friends, we were classmates. So I think she talked to me because she might have thought I was not straight, so, <laughs> you know. You know, that tends to work. And once they find out, oh, you're actually not straight, I mean, let me rephrase that. Once they find out, oh, um, I'm actually straight. Yeah, but nah, she was just, she was real nice. I don't know why I'm randomly talking about this, because this game doesn't end. Oh my god. I think this just goes on indefinitely. <laughs> There's like no live system by the looks of it, but yeah, here I am just talking. Again, this is high school. It's so weird because... Don't want to talk about the whole time dilation. Time dilation is a horrifying thing. It's something that if I had all the money in the world, I would absolutely put as much of it as possible into investing in something. You would have to be at a neurological level, for the most part, to delay. Because obviously you can't, well, you can semi-stop aging, but I believe that the feeling of time passing is the more doable solution, at least for a long time, before we can like manipulate DNA at the root to the point of where you can manipulate aging. But I think the process, like the ability to change it, how you process, and not like pro, not make it so you don't process shit, because then you want to be able to fucking do anything. But essentially, be able to have the time, the time comparison in relation to what you've experienced as you would as a child, you know, because that's how time dilation works. It's a bizarre thing. No one knows the true explanation of it, but the, the farther amount of time you essentially experience something, in like very general, it's just being born, <laughs> um, the faster um, concurrent time goes. But it definitely seems like it. it does like there's times where it shifts fast a lot of it i think is probably like to puberty or something i think there's a change that happens we start progressing like your um 
Like, it could be a hormonal thing, but I don't know. It might not. Like, I don't think hormones have anything to do with uh, how you experience time. It could... Like, the whole teenage angst thing. Well, I do... You know, it's strongly attributed to hormonal changes, but... I feel like the change of... It might not be something, like, you notice right off. But the, there is a change, I think, that goes on and you start... You, you experience time differently at a certain age. And I think that's once you're kind of mid-ish to the end of high school. Because personally, like, my first year of high school felt longer than the other three years of high school combined. Especially senior year. Senior year, it felt like it was over in a month. Like, less than a month almost. That's how fast it went by. But, like, freshman year felt as long as, like, any year in middle school felt. But it is crazy to think that the difference between my freshman year and 8th grade was literally not even a year. Because so much changed. Like, this people change, you know. You have the huge uh, hormonal change, etc. And it's like, you physically, mentally, everything changes so fast in such a fast period of time that literally a year can like you know when you're a grown-ass adult a year is really nothing it's like you don't look different for the most part you don't feel a whole lot different than you do a year apart from each other but when you're at that age where you're changing mentally physically etc a year is like i don't know I feel like I changed more in a year than I have in the past, like, six, seven now, though. I mean, honestly, I don't think I've changed a whole lot since I was, like, fucking 20. Maybe about certain things, but, I mean, mentally, kind of hard to say, because you, because... I think you, like, especially, like, after high school, I think a lot of people, of course, myself included, you know, you finish high school and you think, oh, now it's, even, well, most people are not ready for it, for, like, being an adult, but you kind of think to yourself, okay, I'm ready to be an adult, I'm ready to start, you know, doing adult things, acting like an adult, not really do anything that I did as a kid or as a child. I think some of that also applies to high school, because I mean like in high school, I like, I didn't watch really any cartoons, I didn't watch, or some anime, but not a whole lot, but again, that was also at a time where there wasn't too many places to watch new anime, aside from super mega popular shows at the time, and uh, Yeah, and I like never I didn't play games or anything. Just listen to music. Um, yeah, that's it really. Listen to music and go to school. That was pretty much it. But then, you know, it kind of comes back and it happens to a good amount of people. Though nowadays it kind of continues indefinitely for the most part. Because, you know, in general a lot of people have that. Well, at least, you know, back in the day they would be like, oh, they get back into things that they were into as a kid. But then it would go away again and never really come back. Nowadays, though, that's not really the case. For the most part. No, I don't think that's, like, uh, I mean, if you can, like, have a, if you can be an adult in 
like function as an adult <laughs> and still be into quote unquote childish things, then you know that's that's great. You can to do two very contradicting things. <laughs> uh, I, however, am struggling with one of those, and I can assure you that. The fact that I'm playing these games kind of makes, kind of hints as to what one I have horrible, horrible, uh, not hor I, I don't even know what I'm saying, have a not super good duper-ish experience at. And honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm even regressing. <laughs> but like I said, like, it, like everyone I think kind of goes to the thing. Like, prior to graduating high school, and then kind of right after high school, you're like, okay, I'm ready to be an adult. I'm ready to... Basically, you know, this is being an adult. Then time goes by, and you're like... Shit, being an adult freaking sucks. And you're like... Well, damn. Remember all the stuff that was fun and enjoyable? I kind of want to get into that again. <laughs> so you start, you know... You were playing old shit, watching old shit. Better. Well, the issue, of course, is if you let it kind of take over. Hmm. That's definitely a thing. I don't know the terminology, proper terminology, but... I do kind of worry that I'm in that type of spiral. Shit! Trick or treat doesn't work! This game is freaking lit! Oh my god, this game is so good, but it's not oh, its not on here. Oh my god, I'm going to have to find this somewhere, because this game is awesome. This is like one of the best Cartoon Network games, in my opinion. I'm duplicating it, remembering to check that game again. Stat. Ah, oh, I remember this game. Super well. Stat. Oh yeah, you, like, other show characters are in this for some reason. Kid next door, I need your help to broadcast your private TV network. Complete each level to gather the items. Fire to build a top secret spy antenna. Oh, gonna get the FCC on you. Yeah, you go to, like, all of their little areas. It's really cool. Click on the items as you find them and drag them here to assemble them before time runs out. Oh, there's a timer? Yeah, okay. Uh, why does this keep going up? Beep boop boop. Oh my god, why does this keep going up? Okay, this must be like a bug or something. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. Well done. Okay, this game uh, isn't great. I think I'll remember to being cool because you got the what was it Narnia going on there that you got to see you were like hopping between different shows. Damp. Um. Damn it. Yeah, this is definitely a bug. I don't think it's supposed to be popping up and down like that. Look, it's supposed to just stay down. I'm a little confused though, because the things keep changing. Like, this is not the same schematic, but there's clearly not enough things on the screen. Where is there? What the hell is going on? Okay, I think this game is like, messed up somehow. 
Because I can't move these. Like the mallet. The furnace. It's just, it's stuck. They won't move. I guess? Question mark? A barrel. Hmm. Back, go back, 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 back. Yeah, this doesn't seem right. It doesn't make any sense. I had to keep popping in and out like that, so. Definitely some kind of graphical problem going on here, I guess. These, these are fitting though. Unlike the other ones. Yeah, these are definitely fitting. Lava lamp and this? No. Lava lamp. Is it the speaker? It is. Oh yeah, we did it! For some reason. The one for courage doesn't really make sense, but all right. Okay, this is fitting. Um, okay. Ah. Uh, sucks it takes so long for these things to finish the animation. There's like nothing in the room aside from the guitar. And when you leave, they go away. And there's only two rooms, by the looks of it. Oh. So how are you supposed to put this together? Um, let's see. A drum. Lights. Okay, lights. Lamp. Wasn't that one of them? No. Time's up. Okay, so if you run out of time, you just have to do it again. Oh, drum. Oh, okay. Oh, and now I'm getting things. I wonder if anyone has accidentally come on here actually expecting fusion fall. I feel bad if that's like if that is the case. It says there's no other tag really. And I feel like, you know, Cartoon Network Racing is a console game. As well as Block Party, but I just feel like Fusion Fall is probably the best bet. <laughs> even though this is not Fusion Fall, nor have we played it. I'm not sure if I can even play it, that's the thing. Fusion Fall is like a MMO, wasn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sure if I could even like replicate that. I mean you probably could, but... Yep. Burner... Any of these things? No? French? Twilight Zone. Well, there's the box. Ah, there we go. 
Okay, I think we got it. The mouse box, we just need to go here, get the arm, get this. Uh, arm. It's really a big tube. There's the big tube. Yeah, we did it. Two more. Okay. Mallet. Okay, wait, they do fit. Huh. I was just looking at it wrong, I guess. This is so much smaller on here compared to the actual size of it. There. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Get one more. Okay. All the parts of this one. Well, I remember this screen extremely well. Still, for some reason the wheel was really sticking out to me. I think I remember. Oh, that part was like invin invisible. Invisible parts. Uh, I think we're gonna run out of time. Uh, we need one more part. This? No, like this. Do we do it? Yeah! Who's up? Time to distribute some illegal television. What's us? KND TV is up and running thanks to you! Play again? Nope. Operation Startup. Oh, I guess I could pick any of them really. Oh god. He's like Castlevania stair mechanics. Oh no, what are these? Oh, Can you not? Oh god, the jumping ain't great. These are like super Castlevania ass jumps. Old sticky beard. The internet also ruins Sticky Beard. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into detail as to why. Oh, that hurt us? and stuff for some reason. Okay, can't go over there. Old sticky beard. How am I supposed to get up there? The game over. His new mission. The number three. Number three. Yeah. Okay, same game. For some reason, there's like a heart. What is that? A stomach? Not pleasant looking, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, it is a stomach. Oh, wait a minute. Why can't we... Are we committed to going up and down once we start? Because I pressed down, but now I can't go back up until I'm at the bottom. Hmm. Interesting. Oh 
god, that was a weak woo. I'm sorry about that. Descend. She looks at the flower, she gets entranced. Is that it? Are those onions? <laughs> What's going on here? Cables? By the looks of it. Oh. You find all three power cords. Come back here to connect them. Well, I haven't found any of them. Yet. Doesn't work. Rail. No, rail doesn't work. Graduates. Ooh. Okay, this game. This game's really good. If it's what I remember. Ah, it is. Okay, this game's really cool. This is like kind of the same premise as that one game I was talking about. I was like a shmup. Well, this is also kind of like a shmup, but... Kill Margo back. The delightful children. Ah, oh, yeah, this game rules. talking about now I want to just move off the topic of existential crisis but barely even matters what one you pick because you end up getting all of them eventually unless you get hit because I think if you get hit you lose one of them could be wrong and I'm really not about to get hit to find out oh these like bees beehives or something wasp that makes more sense it's a wasp I definitely remember beating this game as a kid. I don't remember how many levels there are, but... I remember these enemies. Ah, okay, you get hit once and you lose all of them. Okay. That's pretty extreme. 
Luckily, you get them back pretty fast. However, like the issue here is that okay, since I picked number one, you start off with only number one's ammo, and he shoots from the left. A one up. Okay. Well, the one ups only appear once you have all five. I need all five right now. I don't need any one ups. I think at some point, probably not to completion, but I want to play a lot of the Cartoon Network console games on stream. There's like a bit of a level of commitment there because they're not just like five minute games. adventures potentially at one point maybe not bother with like the handheld because the handheld is kind of just a lot of mainly just glorified Cartoon Network website games Actual console games? Maybe. But I would like to stream the... I'm, a, I'm quite sure... I could be wrong, but I'm quite sure there is a ROM of, like, the, the beta of the Nintendo 64 Curse of Cowardly Dog game. Was it Nintendo 64? Or was it PS1? I don't know. But it was a beta of it, and it was never released. Why? I don't know. It was a little tricky having only number one's power. <laughs> Okay, they go back. Shit. You can do this in like a second if you have all five active. Chances do this. Like this should have ended by now. Okay, we did it. Bizarre. Okay, well, enough of that. 
Also, I'm starting to think maybe I never beat this game as a kid because I remember beating the delightful kids and I think that was like it. <laughs> and I remember that the game continued past that. And again, if you pick a different character, oh never, never mind. They shoot from the left, starting regardless. Oh, I'll get them. The game was called Graduates, right? Yeah. Caked. Oh, what's this? Caked four. Going tubing. Control speed. Number one looks like a good setup. Uh, okay. Tubin. Ah, the Tubin episode of Kid Next Door. That was really good. It was a Tubin race. And uh, spoiler alert, number two and Tommy won, I think. Could be wrong. Yeah, number two, he was the only one that used, like, a classic tube. Everyone else had, like, uh, propellers on their shit. <laughs> Damn it, y'all moving on my way. No. Damn it, number two. Ah, I got him. For some reason, it's called Caked Four. That's the name of the game. Caked Four. There's five of them, so... Mm hmm. Whoa! Oh, okay. I guess the oil slicks make you go, f like, super fast. Oh, now we're getting... Shot at. Like, the sticky beard, I think. Oh, uh, who else would have a boat? A pirate ship looking boat, I guess. I don't know. It looks really big. Also, you get hit, you get a big boost, it seems like. No! Oh! We won that, right? Yeah, we won. Okay. Wow. Ugh. Oh no. Woo! Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I think number three won. Yeah, she won.
<laughs> Look at number two. 50 seconds. What? Oh, hell no. Man. Forget that. So what did number one have? He had really good speed by the looks of it. Oh, he had the most speed. Number three real quick. I'm about to switch games, but... No, number three being my favorite character of the show. I guess I've never said that. Now you know! So... Yeah, I guess she handles quite well. Number four has the worst handling, so... See what that's like. After this. Oh. Well. I guess I can't really do it. Oh well. Well, maybe I'm gonna reset it real quick. Or drink some coffee. Shouldn't really be drinking any because the stream's about over. Well, he moves, he actually moves very quick. But kind of to the point where if you're not careful, it kind of feels like you'd hit something, but. Yeah, the control doesn't feel a whole lot different. Ugh. Oh, I gotta stretch. No P to the O. Pool. P in the pool. I'll do that. I mean, there's a lot of games left. Oh, well, it doesn't work. Slam dunk doesn't work. That's a shame. We can't dunk. Intruders in the park. As soon as I say it. Where? It happens as soon as I say it. It's like the channel's watching, even if they're like just lurking. Um, Rick, recover ice cream. Grandma makes stuff. Grandma stuffing? I swear they heal it they hear it somehow and it makes like the view count no longer your count or yeah <laughs> I don't know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense this is a big my big conspiracy I think in my head Wob win a basketball Oh, we had a dunk. Oh, well. Oh, no, shit. I see. Damn, number five, you kinda... Not great. Be ball. Oh, we did it. You failed. Uh. Oh, well. That game's pretty cool. But the games are different for each 
one of them by the looks of it. I remember ice creamed. Oh god. I don't know why I remember this game so fondly. By fondly, I mean... Not, I don't remember it being good, question mark. Grounded, remember that one. Hold on, let me see how many more we have to go. Assuming, you know, all these work. Some of them probably don't work. Grounded. Turnips have invaded the Kennedy's next door headquarters. Help the kids next door drill deep into the earth to find and destroy the evil monster Turnip. Oh, whoops. Um. Hmm, okay. I don't. I'm not really a turnip fan. I don't know, they're too they're too earthy in my opinion. Like I don't know, I feel like I'm just eating the ground. Anything with like beet beets? Yeah, beets. I feel like I'm eating soil. I never eat them. Drill into the center of the earth. Yeah, I was mentioning the ghost in chat that I know it's probably my own conspiracy, but I was talking about how the stream's not gonna like I'm gonna end the stream pretty soon. After I finish the Kids Next Door games. There's only maybe like five or six left. And I feel like every stream when I say that I'm about to end the stream, I lose like, at least, like, the viewer count instantly goes down by at least one. And I'm like... And it's not that I don't think... Like, I don't think people here... Or, like, for example, you said you were lurking. So, again, like, I don't think... Like, you clipped off the stream when you heard me say that. Because I don't think you heard me say it. But I feel like... There's some type of conspiracy... <laughs> somewhere with Twitch that... If you say you're about to end the stream, any channel that's watching that's more or less lurking instantly is, like, no longer counted as a view. I don't, like, that doesn't make any sense, I know. <laughs> but I swear, every single time it happens, I notice that the view count goes down, like, instantly. And it's like, not by much. Like, you'll go down maybe, like, one viewer, maybe two. But it's every time I say it, most of the time, I notice it happens, and it's like, is there some type of vocal recognition that if you say you're ending the stream, like specifically those words, because I feel like that's how I phrase it, does the views like no longer count if people are lurking? Because <laughs> there's another thing which I don't know how true this is. I know a couple people that stream, and they strongly for like they strongly believe this. They've actually banned the word lurk in their chat because of it. Same thing with lurking. They banned the word lurking. Is that apparently there's some... Uh, I don't know if it's proven, and a lot of people say it's not true. Is that when you say lurk, you no longer count as a viewer. Sorta. 
like you'll count for a little bit but after a few minutes your view no longer counts like you're no longer a live viewer however you're still watching so you still get ads like twitch is still profiting from it because you're like you're watching ads i don't understand the reasoning for doing so like why remove the view if someone's lurking again that i don't think it's ever been proven and it's really kind of hard to tell whether or not it's true um so far i don't think it's true because you know i've had people say that they're working in chat and i don't notice the view count go down at all but i know some people like a few people that i follow and raid out to often they black they blacklisted the words um lurk from their chat or only because you know people do lurk and then at that point it's kind of too late to go back on it because unlurk doesn't do anything apparently unlurking doesn't change whether or not your view counts anymore but again that might like it might not even be real it could be just a big whole bunch of hoopla but I know a few people that they strongly believe it's real. Yeah, I know. It's easy to test. That's the thing. And I don't, like, from what I have been able to tell, I've never noticed the view count really go. I think the thing is, yeah, don't say anything for a while. Say, well, no, that's the thing, is that it will still show up in the list. But the number doesn't. Like, you'll still show up on the viewer list. However, um, like a friend of mine who has Lark banned in his chat, he says that he'll go through the viewer list. There will be 10 or so people that he knows are watching. Like, he, 10 or so people that he knows that they're not bots or anything, like they're actual viewers. However, a lot of them say Lurk. But he'll have like 10 in his chat. But the view count will be six. And he said a lot of them lurk. Like they go in, do exclamation point, lurk. And he's very convinced that once you say lurk, there's a, like, you'll still count for like 10 minutes and then your view no longer counts. You'll be in the chat. Like, if you look up viewers, you'll be there, but you don't count towards the number. Because right now the number says free on my channel. And like, hold on. I'll actually look right now. I don't think anyone came in here and said lurk and then. Okay, there's me, ghosts. I'm just looking. A lot of these names are bots. That. That for whatever reason, they just come in your chat. You can actually, like, ban a lot of these bots, because a lot of them don't really do anything. They're kind of... They're bots that exist to, like, examine Twitch analytics and stuff like that. But you can actually remove a lot of these, because, yeah, there's so many in here. And they don't count for views. The bots don't count for views, so they're there kind of just gathering data. Um, but there are some bots like Sound Alerts is in here and is considered a bot, but if I don't have sound alerts in here then I can't play sound alerts. Okay, yeah, so I only see yeah, I see you, Ghost, and myself. And those are like active viewers that I know are currently watching. But, like, it's possible, like, if you say lurk in, like, ten minutes, it could go down to two, and you'll still, like, you'll still show up if I press, um, who's in chat, like, your name will still be there. It's just the number will be two instead of three. Um, again, I, I've never tested it, and again, it's very easy to test, however, you know, I believe that there's, like, a time limit, sort of, so after you say lurk, your view will count for a good 10 minutes or so, and then it will decline, like it will decrease. 
Um, but I don't think it's been proven. And if you ever look, like, try to check the internet, ask people, does lurking decrease your view count? Some people say no. Others will say yes. And some people say the reasoning why it goes down is that people straight up will just say lurk and then just leave. Like, yeah, they'll be lurking, but in like 10, 15 minutes, they'll close out of the tab. And then, yeah, of course, once you do that, you're no longer a viewer. You won't show up in the viewer thing also, so I guess if someone were to test it, you wouldn't show up regardless. But, a friend, yeah, my friend said that he's multiple times, he'll check to see the viewers. He'll see like 10 people who he knows are live viewers. We're not really live viewers, but... They're not bots. And a lot of them will say lurk, and he'll look on his view count, and it would be like five or six. And there's ten people watching that he knows are real people. So he just decided to ban the word lurk. So it doesn't... So you can't say the word lurk in chat. Um, I'm, you know... Until... Until it's something like I feel like it's something that is actually I remember this game. This is like uh, I can't see the image, but um, there's a million games like this. Sadly, it doesn't work. But until it's something like I maybe notice myself, and again, it might not even be fucking real. That's the thing. Twitch's uh, active view count is also not super always accurate like the numbers can fluctuate out of nowhere so it could just be a uh, you know a situation where you look you see the numbers way lower than it's supposed to be I didn't even pay attention Do I, is this like Simon? I hope not oh okay it is And you just look at a time where, like, oh, view count went down, but then it will go back up. So it's not like an issue of whether or not it won't go back up. It's just, you know, you can look down and be like, where the fuck did all my views go? And it depends. Sometimes it gets real bad. It'll just straight up sometimes say, like, if you have like 20 people watching your chat, sometimes it'll say like four people are watching. But that's kind of like a, that would be like a twist in general thing. Like everyone's channel will be like that. Like the view count is like way lower than it actually is. I'm also not really paying attention. <laughs> Shit. Wait, are we going farther back? Oh yeah, you, keep, you go farther back. Well, never mind. Even if I was paying attention, I don't like that type of game. So, beat your vegetables. Time to time to beat your vegetables. But no, the thing that is going on in like my head right now is I swear every time I say that I'm about to end stream, my view count goes down. <laughs> um, is it activated by the word? See, here's the thing. Um, I think the... Because when you do exclamation point lurk, that's technically a command. And you can like have it like you can have certain things set up. So okay, um, you can like do a command to see who is all currently exclamation point lurking in your chat. And it's a is a command that exists on Twitch. It's not like a a third party command. So it's very possible that like if this is all like a real thing and not some kind of conspiracy that the command itself like does that because it's a twitch command more or less it's one that's in there like it's one that is native to twitch um now the thing with the word itself my like a friend of mine again some people just think okay exclamation point lurk that's what causes the thing to happen where your view no longer counts 
My friend is full on convinced that just saying the word lurk or lurking or any other variation of the word lurk, you don't even have to have an exclamation point. If you just say the word lurk, it causes it to happen. That I don't really believe. I, it's, it's not a command. If you just say a word, I mean, maybe, maybe they have it listed that if you say that word, it causes it to do the thing, but... But again, that's all if that's even a real, if all this is even real. It could just be, you know, a coincidence slash, you know, enough people start thinking it. And the fact that, you know, Twitch's view counts never vary. It's not, it's not perfect. Like, it will change on its own out of nowhere. Usually down, it rarely goes up. <laughs> like, it never usually says there's more viewers than there actually is. But lots of times it will just say a lower amount than there is. And then it will go back up. But, I mean, it's possible that if you look down enough times while it's saying there's less there is, you might start thinking that is like a thing. So far, the only thing that I'm feeling is when I say I'm ending, <laughs> when I say that I'm ending stream, my view count goes down. But I think it's just, I don't know. It might just be coincidence. If I, I, I don't know. If I constantly, I don't know. Maybe, like, I don't think it happens every stream. And I think when it does happen, that's when it makes me go, oh my God, it happened again. When in reality, it, it's only happened like, once a week if I say that and it just it makes me feel like it happens all the time when in reality it really doesn't but if I get to a point where it like legit is every single time I say I'm about to end stream my view count goes down I don't know because I mean I don't hear anyone else ever thinking that I am tempted like I do want to ask some people do they notice that at all because it's different than saying that you're about to raid. When you're about to raid and you have like, if there's people actively uh, watching, a lot of people leave because for one, they don't want to be a part of the raid or, you know, or they're just like, well, the person who I'm here to watch is done streaming, so I'm done watching. I don't, you know, I don't care going to someone else's channel I don't know so that's that's different and that's definitely a thing I mean you say you're gonna raid a good amount of people leave before the raid ever happens but just saying that you're gonna end the stream I don't know I feel like it's happened a good amount of times and it's and it happens while there's people like lurking in chat so it's not like I don't think people are listening going oh I'm ending stream okay time to leave I just, I feel like, I don't know, it's weird. And maybe, it could be all in my head. Again, I've never heard anyone else say that. Though I've also never really asked anyone if they've noticed that. But I don't think other people also, I don't think a lot of people just straight up say, well, yeah, people do say they're about to end stream. I don't know what I'm saying. Of course they do. Like, yeah, I'll be ending stream pretty soon. That type of thing, but... I suppose if, yeah, if you have live viewers, that might cause a decrease in views. But, well, I say live in the sense that, I mean, people that are not lurking type of thing. But I swear I'll have people who are semi-lurking who probably really do not hear me say I'm about to end stream. I'll say it and the view count goes down. Oh, you gotta go? Well, alright. I'm legit. Well, I've already said it enough. I think the damage is done, but yeah, I'll be ending stream pretty soon. But thanks for coming by, Neon. Hope you have a good, actually, I guess good day because it's morning where you are. I mean, it's technically morning here, but I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. How the hell are you supposed to... 
Well, so I guess I'm doing all right. What are these peas? What's the background? I just noticed how like weird the background is. Oh, this is really chugging. I'll be back. Game over. Alright. Well, not bad, but we know you can do better. Operative, get back in there. Uh, no. I'm not going back in there. Wait, did we... We straight up just skipped down her derby. What's going on? How did I... Okay, I must have... Yeah, I just straight up skipped downhill derby. <laughs> oh, hey, ghosts. God damn it, it happened. I was at four and I'm at two. I know it's because Neon left, but this doesn't really explain the... the extra. <laughs> downhill derby. Yeah, I mean, this stream has been going on for a while, but, I mean, once we're done with this, I mean, we're done. I do kind of maybe want to see if there's another website to... Uh, oh, whoops. Spawns. Yeah, number four are the worst controls and... Two in that one. Number two is the best. Holy oh, slow as shit. But max speed, that ain't good. He has pretty bad acceleration. Number five generally seems to have like the best. That's what it looks like. joking about number three being number three has really slow acceleration right I can't remember now wasn't this one of the games that became like a paid game it was that one thing where they turned some games that were Originally free games and the pay games, like the Edda and Eddie skateboarding one. They, like, they made them, like, they added more stuff to them. So it was definitely more of a full game, but you still had to pay for it. And I think the issue is that they, they took away free option. That really sucks. Number three is the fastest, right? Or is it number two? forget sometimes that top speed is actually as long as you don't hit anything top speed's the best control I mean yeah controls and handling that's pretty important but it depends on the game what kind of game you're playing whether or not handling really matters and also the course layout Hmm. I see. So they're number five. Yeah, number four has. Yeah, she has the lowest acceleration, but. 
Actually, wow, number four, I think, is considerably better. Because look at the bars. Two, one, five, one, three, five. Number four is one extra bar, even though it's, you know, a different thing. I think he actually might, yeah, he might be way better, honestly. This is eight. Nine bars, eight bars. 11, and then 10. Hmm, yeah. So number three and number five have the least amount of things filled up. And again, I know it doesn't really mean anything, but especially if they're putting some, the only issue here is that number two has a really low max speed, so. Uh, meh. And number three has... Yeah, I feel like this number four is straight up better. Number three's cart. This is... Love number three, she's great. Like, we only have two acceleration, but god damn. So much faster than number three deceleration. And number five has three as well. Oh, she's going real slow. Probably just the AI is set to be not great for her. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't even really know what I'm saying. Some kind of, well, I guess there's not really rubber banding, but they do seem like they're letting off the gas somehow, which I don't think you actually can. No break in this. Ugh, fourth. Yeah, enough of that. Next. Code letters, save. Oh, I'm not going to do the quiz. Uh. This isn't a Cartoon Network game. Actually, this looks like... Or is it? Oh, it is. I think. Yeah, this is one of the paid games I was talking about. It's 3D. Yeah, it looks like it's from... Oops. Looks like it's a scene from... In the screenshot here, it looks like a scene from the video game. Well, there actually is a link to do that, so we'll do that in a sec. And, uh, oh, this is just the words with chat game, or whatever. Neopets also. There's also a Neopets one up here. The quiz. Is it a, wait, what? Screenshot made it look like it's not a quiz. Uh, we collected up to 150 whole Neo points. 2002, though. Oh, this is when, uh, Kids Next Door first came out. Yeah, on Friday, December 6th at 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific, Cartoon Network introduces five 10-year-olds who are dedicated to freeing, uh, well, also, why is the text so weird? Achieve their goal and must have taken numbers inside, and, wait, have taken numbers inside of Okay, I guess the text is cut off. Names and form a secret organization, the kids next door. Move over your house to learn more. Yeah, I remember 
before the show came out, they would show um, little blurps of each character at like during commercial breaks on Cartoon Network. Same thing with Teen Titans. And my God, it's crazy how much that's been like cemented in my head. And I think a lot of people as well, especially the Teen Titans ones. Because every week they would like introduce a new Teen Titan, sorta, in the commercials. But it has stuck so much. It's like, I remember it extremely well. Because Next Door and Teen Titans did it. Uh, these are descriptions. And again, yeah, this is, came out before Kids Next Door ever was on TV. Has an English accent. The undistributed leader of the Kids Next Door, an embodiment of the principle. Um, well, Nigel Uno is actually not the leader of the Kids Next Door. There isn't really a leader. Unless they're referring to the kids next door as the five. Like, maybe they... I don't know. Did they establish that there's other numbers except one to five? Maybe there wasn't. Or at least whoever made this game didn't know that. <laughs> HQ room. Uh, computers and video screens. The nerve of K&D. Yeah, I think they're referring to kids next door as just like the treehouse in this. And that's actually not the case. Let's the fly and build all kinds of cool flying machines. The only member of the team born in America. Really? Where was number five born? He was born in France? When did they ever say that? Interesting. He sleeps in a cockpit of an F-14 that crashed through the wall of his bedroom. <laughs> and a younger brother named Tommy. Well, they, they established Tommy, at least, back then. You flirtatious. What? Really? The flirt. Um, interesting. Huh. Cookie Sanban. Cute, flirtatious, happy go lucky Japanese girl, blissfully aware of, unaware of any danger. Iku room, cute, fluffy monster, and robot toys. Takes care of the hamsters that live in the treehouse. That's interesting that they call her that. The tough kid? What? Yeah, maybe at first he was presented that way, but he's actually like the wimpiest of them all. An angry Australian kid with hand to hand combat skills. Thinks he has superpowers. He does an AQ room, giant wrestling room. Has a crush on number three. Oh, did I read the name? Nigel Uno. Specialty. Supreme Commanderness. Hoagie P. G oh, I forgot his name. It was Hoagie P. Gilligan. Junior. Gisanban. Wallaby Beatles. And Abigail Abby Lincoln. Stealthy-like tactics. Uh, yeah, diversionary tactics. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Stealth-like tactics. African American, but born in France. Uh, you know, what? I'm not even gonna say it, but that wouldn't that make her African French? Is in charge of the K and D's candy storage facility. HQ room, cool and well decorated. Has a milkshake bar. Aside from number one, probably the only member with any common sense. Yeah, that's true. God. <laughs> um. Go to game. Uh, mission one. Start. Int. Nigel. Wait, what? Am I an idiot? Set from number one. Uh, correct. <laughs> uh oh. What in the world? It was actually going to pop up. I got like a thing that said pop up blocked. Was it about to give me Neo points? <laughs> what? Yeah, send score. I think it was going to try to send me Neo points. Mission 5. What? 
Int number five. Correct. Um, let's see. Number four. Correct. A tough kid. Collect up to 150 Neo points, but you can get max at 100 at a time in a game. Kind of a weird number. I mean, back then, I guess in Neo Pets, 150 was an okay number, maybe. It very quickly became like, if you didn't get 1k a game, then you wouldn't even bother to play the game. <laughs> yeah. Interesting that a pop up tried to pop up. <laughs> Region save. Oh, this? Oh. Okay. The link doesn't work. This is from Cartoon Network AU. Is this specifically a. Well, no. There's other characters. Game was re released and renamed Operation Startup later on. Several components were... Oh, okay, this is interesting. So, Operation Startup was... This one. The one with the ladders. And... Yeah. The game was re-released re and renamed Operation Startup later on, but several components were removed. Okay, there's an ad, but I'll just keep talking. Several components were removed. They took out the original wood panel game window. Oh, okay, so I see. The hallway... Mission select, the operation brief switch, the tech gear switch, the bios for the kids, the idea of gathering the code for the final mission, and the final mission itself. The curation restores all the content from the original launch. Okay, aside from having a link that works. I wonder why they took all that out. Also, the fact that somebody, like, well, I guess they could just compare the two, but someone actually went out of their way to explain all that that's cool but also yeah <laughs> i don't know i guess if that's something you do you do there's also no it's not even like any names behind any uh people that upload these what is hey what there was absolutely a link here earlier. Why do I not see it now? I know you, like, you can't see on screen, so, Ghost, I know you have no way of confirming whether or not it was there, but there was a link here. I s freaking swear there was. Unless I'm really losing it. It's, it's possible. Yeah, there's no link here. <laughs> oh my god, I swear there was one. Full screen? No. Oh boy. Okay, I guess that's the sign I should probably end the stream because I absolutely thought there was a link and it is no longer. Well, I say no longer. It might have never even been there. Huh. Interesting. Unless maybe I was looking at another game. Yeah. Eh, oh well. That's uh, Kids Next Door. I do want to eventually find that one game I have tabbed open. This K 
can't remember which one it was. We're about to find out, though. So on next stream, we will be finishing this off. Unless I, at some, at some point tomorrow, I'm going to look to see if I find another possible website that has these games. So we can play through the Powerpuff Girl games that we didn't get to play through. And maybe find the Cartoon Network Resort games. And then after that, aside from Teen Titans, other ones, maybe do a search on Naruto, and then finish off with Ed and Eddie. Yeah, this game. I wanna try to find this game. This game was awesome. But yeah, so Let's see what we could write out to real quick. Uh made a good time, good time tonight. Cows. Let's go to Cows God. No, it isn't gigs. All right. Thanks for coming by, Ghost, as always. And everyone else that came by, however, you're not in chat at the moment. I do appreciate it, regardless. Uh, one sec. Yeah, okay, well. Good night. See ya. Well, uh, probably... Be done with this tomorrow, so yeah.